Hello and welcome friends. In today's video, I'll show you how to make graham cracker gingerbread houses. This is a super fun craft for both parents and kids. Here's what you'll need. You'll need some graham crackers, some paper plates, a sharp knife, a pair of scissors, an assortment of candies and chocolates to decorate, and some frosting glue. So let's start by making the frosting glue. To make the frosting glue, you're gonna need one pound of powdered sugar, half a teaspoon of cream of tartar, and three large egg whites. Put all of the ingredients into a mixing bowl and then whip it consistently for seven minutes. It'll appear runny at first, but as you keep whipping it, it'll get glossy, thick, and bright white. You can then transfer the frosting into Ziploc bags, or here I've used a soft bottle with a nozzle. You can also make the frosting ahead of time. So let's start by first making the front and the back of the graham cracker houses. So for that you need two graham crackers and you want to cut the top one fourth of the cracker off using a sharp knife and always have only the parents do the cutting. So once you have the top one fourth cut off, you want to cut at an angle. So I'm using the dots on the graham crackers as my guide and I'm just cutting along it to create the roof shape for the front and the back of the houses. The next graham cracker you want to cut into half, so each of these halves will form the sides of the house. Now the last two graham crackers, you want to cut them slightly larger than half. So I'm using again the dots on the graham crackers itself as a guide and I'm just cutting them like slightly larger than half. These will form the roofs and this will have a nice little bit of overhang to make them look cute and decorated. So now we have all the pieces cut and ready. We have the front and the back of the house, the two sides of the house, and the two pieces for the roof. So you want to flip one of the front or the back piece and apply frosting along the side. You want to apply a thick, generous amount of frosting. The frosting is really stiff and it won't be runny. It's easy to apply and it holds the graham cracker in place super easily. Now you want to attach the side pieces. I found that if you just lay the front down and put the sides on top like I'm showing right now in the video, it goes much easier. Then just apply more of the glue to the back piece and adhere it on top and then you can just simply rotate the house very easily upright and you have the ready structure of the house. I had a bunch of frosting left over in my bowl so I just apply that to the paper plate to make it look like there's a lot of snow on the ground. And then I place the graham cracker house into the snow. To attach the roof pieces, add more frosting along the top edges and then simply place the roof on top. Gently make the two roof pieces meet and then add more frosting in the center to hold them together. And then you just keep making more and more graham cracker houses till you run out of supplies. The frosting that we make is actually super thick and the graham crackers are held together so securely you make a nice solid house that is very stable and then I just put out a tray of candy many of these candies were left over from our Halloween trick-or-treating and the kids had a lot of fun decorating the houses not just the kids even the adults decorated a house each and it was super fun I love how colorful and whimsical each one of these houses turn out it's a super fun craft to do with your kids I had a lot of the frosting glue left over, so I just used simple white as my theme and decorated this house and I love how it turned out. I added all of the leftover frosting and just doodled some design with my frosting tip and it turned out so cute. Thank you for spending some crafty time with me today friends. I'll leave the recipe for the frosting in the description box below and if you need any more inspiration head to my blog where I'll have more photographs of all the steps. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Happy crafting!